Hey guys, um, in this video here I'm going to create a factorial program in C. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my uh, dev C++ open, my IDE. So I'm going to first write down a description of what this program is. So this program outputs the factorial number and then I give an example um, 5 factorial is going to be equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so it's going to equal 120 and I'm going to put a general case in general n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times and we're going to just keep going down till we get to about some number 3 times 2 times 1 okay so I'm going to include my library here standard um, input output dot h and now I'm going to create my main function I'm going to put void here I don't have to return anything okay so we need our n or our number so I'm going to say integer n um, I'm going to ask the user to enter a number so to enter a number to be um, not factored, but enter a number and return the factorial of that number. Okay. So for an F, that's exactly what I will write here. Enter a number and I will return the factorial of that number. Okay, uh, let's see. Now we need to actually get the number from them. So we have an integer. Uh, we're going to do percent %d for a digit. And c needs this um, ampersand sign there, that and. And so now we've scanned in their number and assign it to the variable n. OK, so now let's do another print statement. And we're going to say the number percent %d. And we're going to have factorial equals, and we're going to give the answer to that number. And I'm going to put a new line there just so we can see um, pretty clearly what's going on. And we put our old number here. And for now, we're going to put a placeholder number, like uh, 120. And semicolon. And next, we well, I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna do system pause. That's the Windows pause command. And let's give this program a run. Uh, a run. Dot C. We are going to make this um, call it factorial. Okay, so enter a number and I will return the factorial of that number. So enter 5. The number 5 factorial equals 120. Now, we're still not really done with this program because that 120 is just a placeholder here. So what that means is if I rerun this again and I put in 6, 
I still get 6 factorial equals 120. So it's not actually doing any work yet. We haven't actually created um, the factorial function. So let's do that. And let's create a factorial function. So I'm going to call this function fact underscore recursive. So we're going to recursively, well, actually, let's, let's do it iteratively first, and then possibly do it recursively. Just so uh, we understand what's going on. It's going to take in a number. We call it n. And make sure I put it, this is a iterative fact function and let's go ahead and start writing it now and what it's going to do is we're going to create some integer i and we're going to create another integer we'll call it the uh, product which equals one and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this for i equals one i is gonna be less than or equal to n and then we're gonna increment i by one each time and what we want to do is we want to show that we want product to equal the product times i And then we want to return product. So essentially, what are we doing here? So I explain it. This loop here is going to run through um, all the values from i equals one to n. So, if, for instance, we have, um, for instance, if we have five, which is n. Or let's say n equals 5. Then this loop's going to run uh, 5 times, right? It's going to start at i equals 1, then i is going to equal 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, which looks very similar to what we have up here, just uh, backwards and no multiplication. So what we have to do is we have to multiply these values together, which is exactly what we're doing here. And maybe to make it even more clear, maybe we would like to set i equal to n and have this go while i is greater than or equal to the number 1, and then have i decrement. And now it's going to be ex exactly like this here, where we first have 5, we do 5 times 1. I'm sorry, we, yeah, we do 5, we do 1 times 5. It's going to equal product, and then uh, four times five is going to be the new product, and then uh, three times twenty because this product is equal to uh, five times one times four. So we get 60, and then multiply that by 2, and then by 1 again. And so let's take this function here. Put it right here, and we're going to put in there. And now let's run this. And let's see if we uh, get what we expect back. So I put 5, I'm expecting 120. If I put 3, I'm expecting 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So let's try to put 3. And I get the number 6. Perfect. So we just created this function iteratively. Maybe we would want to do it recursively as well. So I'm going to create fact recursive take an integer in this is a recursive 
factorial function. And I'm going to just take this here, copy it here, and it's going to be really simple. We're going to have our base case, which is if n is uh, equal to 0, then we return 1 because 0 factorial is equal to 1. Else, we don't even need an else really, we can just say return n times fact recursive of n minus 1. So that means just multiply the next number down. Okay, and let's see if this works as well. I'm going to change this to recursive. Let's run it. And let's do uh, 4 factorial. So 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 12 times 2 times 1, which is 24 times 1. And that's exactly what we got there. So thank you guys. And... I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please leave comments, uh, likes, and please subscribe. Thank you.